Our seventh inductee is Dan Velez. Dan was a three-year member of the men's lacrosse team and totaled 84 goals and 68 assists for 152 points in 38 games. He ranks 10th in career assists and 11th in career points, and as a junior, totaled 36 goals and 24 assists. No one outworked Dan Velez on the practice field. He was, he never took 30 seconds off. And it wasn't because he, he was a perfectionist, it was because he was determined to be as good as he could possibly be and, and also work on the things that would make the team better. Dan was, a, was another quiet leader. He, he didn't, you know, he wasn't a rah-rah guy, but boy, it, I mean, he took everything so seriously that people around him didn't dare not to be serious and work hard with him. And so his, his entire focus of his commitment to the game, his desire to be the best he could be, and his team to be the best he could be, because he really was all about the team, uh, that made everybody really stand up and pay attention. Well, Dan, first of all, is just a truly great lacrosse player. Um, I think it speaks volumes that he's got, he stands 11th on the total points list still when we pay, played less games. Um, we did, we did schedule some, some pretty good teams in there and, you know, we never made a tournament. We had one ECAC, ECAC championship game, so that was one extra game at the end of the season. And he's 10th on the assist list, all-time assist list. Uh, those things are pretty remarkable achievements for that early era of the game. And, uh, and again, Dan drew the, the toughest defenseman on every, you know, in every matchup. And uh, I think that, that speaks volumes about his ability as, a, as a, uh, an attackman. And as I mentioned, his, his leadership skills and his, his uh, key contributions as a leader I think all speak volumes about him. Dan's commitment to being the best that he could possibly be was uh, something that everybody noticed and it rubbed off on him. And I think that made him a great teammate. So Dan was not only just a great player, he was a great teammate. And his commitment to the sport and to the team uh, was uh, an enormous influence on how well we did in those days in that early era of lacrosse at, at uh, Stevenson. From the class of 2003, it is my honor to welcome Dan Velez into the Dick Watts Athletics Hall of Fame. Hello. Um, let me say uh, first that uh, I am uh, extremely honored and uh, excited and a little nervous as well. But um, this has really been great. Uh, the video this evening, the whole day, all right, we did an excellent job. And um, it's really amazing. The, uh, when I got the call, similar type of thought. I think uh, Coach Brett said we're transitional or uh, setting the foundation of the teams and so forth for all the great things that you've accomplished here since then. And when I think back on it and back to those teams, I don't think we really had those types of thoughts in minds, right? We weren't really thinking about what it was going to look like today. We just wanted to get out on the field and play lacrosse because we liked it. We, uh, we enjoyed it. We wanted to win. We, uh, we wanted to compete. We learned how to lose. Um, a lot of those lessons that you get through the years. And I was uh, very fortunate through the years to have a lot of great coaches, uh, most of them on the field, uh, my parents off the field through or at every game. And, um, and then at Stevenson, we had uh, Coach Chadwick, but also uh, Coach Skip and Coach Witt uh, brought a tremendous amount of experience. As Steve was talking about it earlier, you know, the, the tradition and the work ethic that they brought uh, 
and they instilled in our team was amazing. And what they, what they brought was we all wanted to work harder and do better. And, um, and a lot of times that meant, you know, a lot of that was on our team for, for on the lacrosse field, but it was also building a program, right? You probably heard back then, if you were listening, we want to be a real program, right? <laughs> you probably heard that more than once. And uh, I think we uh, vocalized that a few times, probably to Brett, and, um, and um, probably more than once, especially I think towards the end of the uh, senior year, there was the uh, long stretch of rain, and we didn't have a field to play on, and we were kind of doing this running around Baltimore County trying to find a lacrosse field to play on. Uh, but I would say uh, it's probably safe to say, uh, on behalf of all of those people, all the uh, great teammates I had, and and people that were part of that organization, that everything that we were asking for to be delivered as part of a program, you guys have certainly succeeded on uh, and done a really great job, more than we could ever imagine. So for that, I'm really proud to be an alumni, uh, proud to be part of this inductee class with all these great inductees and uh, part of this community. So thank you for that very much. Um, and I guess the I want to end, I guess, thank you with my parents very much for everything you've done through the years. Um, through my earliest days, have been a great supporter, uh, gave me nothing but confidence uh, on the lacrosse field and through life. And thank you to my wife, Deanna, my children, Lily and Grady, and Colin at home. Um, Deanna, you are my rock, and Lily and Grady, I look forward to seeing everything, you know, all of your accomplishments and the hard work and the lessons that you'll learn uh, and really appreciate it. Very honored and thank you.